Hey, welcome back to the channel. Why do I think Bitcoin is going to go to zero? Because one person owns too much of the pie. Too much. And the person that owns most of it is controlling it. So I'm really surprised that people have bought it at a lower price and now that it's up to 65000 or whatever it is, that people aren't selling it don't make no sense to me. Somebody tell me it's not going to go to a million dollars. These people keep talking about it going to a million dollars a coin. It ain't going to go to a million dollars. And another thing that I saw on Tucker Carlson's show, he was interviewing some people and they were talking about Bitcoin. I haven't heard this before and it should have should have registered to me years ago because the government is talking about how they want to have their own coin and all this stuff. But his person, the person he was interviewing, they got on the subject of the CIA is the one that created Bitcoin. And CIA is the, the holder of, the most, of, of most of the Bitcoin that nobody really knows who that person is. I mean, come on, people. It's just crazy. So, no, I won't be buying Bitcoin. It could, it, you could have made a lot of money in it. Hopefully you did make a lot of money in it. But when it's up high like this, why people aren't selling it and taking their money out and investing it in something like on chain, like ICP, I don't understand because it don't make any sense. I mean, now, now the, the politicians that are coming up for the election, now they're talking about they're all in on Bitcoin. They're going to go in on Bitcoin. Let me tell you, to me, that's a pump and dump. They're going to pump it up, and they're playing the doggone uh, coins just like they played the stock market. You know, the politicians and the rich people are controlling the stock market. There's no way the stock market is worth, uh, it's 40000 now, and it's, I think it's going to go to 50000 before the end of the year, the Dow Jones. There's no way that it should be where it's at. The only reason it's where it's at is because government's buying bonds and buying back stocks. And all these companies that are doing so good are doing good because they're firing their employees and, and, and holding up their stock and buying back their stock to help their investors that are invested in their stock, which eventually you only got so many employees before it starts going the other way or it's going to go off a doggone cliff. I mean, it don't make no, the stock market makes no sense. Now, if you're a day trader and you really know what you're doing, which I don't, I'm not giving you financial advice, you could buy and sell stocks every day and maybe make some money. But if you're not doing a high volume of cash, uh, fees are going to eat you alive. You're not going it's, to, it's going to be hard to make money day trading if you just don't have a, a lot of money. So that's another reason I'm not in Bitcoin. I got out of Ethereum. I'm I'm in the ICP, and that's where I'm going to be. And ICP is just like computers. Well, this, it's called Internet Computer Protocol. So, ICP is it, it's going to take over the coin section because it's on chain. It's completely different from all these other coins like Bitcoin and all these other coins after Bitcoin are copying bitcoin and trying to do what bitcoin did which they will never accomplish and icp is completely different they've made a different coin they've got a different product that uh, they have space to store stuff you can put your websites you can put your videos you can do your bookkeeping you can do a multitude of things and i think i think facebook will be moving to it I think uh, uh, X will be moving to ICP, and I think uh, uh, email is going to be moving to ICP. All this stuff is move, going to move. But like I said, it's like your computer. If you bought a computer 10 years ago, and, you, and you're now you're up to Windows 10, and you got your computer working, it's running on all eight cylinders, and that thing is, well, in America, maybe it's three cylinders because they're trying to take that away from us too. But it's running on all eight center cylinders, and that thing is just cranking out stuff, man. That computer's working great. 
And now all of a sudden Microsoft and Apple are saying, well, we got new systems and you're going to have to buy the new systems because your old system is not going to be compatible with like Windows 11. Uh, you can upgrade if you have a new computer that will run the new system on. But for the most part, it won't run the new system. If you have a Windows 10, you're going to have to buy a whole new computer. I mean, that's just the way it is. ICP is the next big thing in cryptocurrency because it's new technology. you got new young kids on the block that have come up with this, and it is fantastic. It's on chain, and no one big conglomerate owns one big bunch of uh, ICP. It's owned by a bunch of small owners that own maybe 100 ICP coins or maybe a little bit more. So anyway, I'll have more on this for you later. I just want to touch base with you and say if you're not in ICP, I would recommend you get into it. I mean, right now it's $9. Today when I'm doing this video, a couple of weeks ago, it was $6. I've seen it go up to $20. So it's it's moving around a little bit. But my, my advice, which is not advice, my opinion is to buy ICP and stake it for a minimum of six months. And that way you're going to receive more ICP every time it matures. You're going to gain ICP that's not staked. And if you want to sell some, you can sell that. So anyway, you guys have a fantastic day. I'll have another video for you soon. And this is Harold signing out, baby. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for staying to the end. You're the best.